Greetings, YouTube. The doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here, coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and & Dragons. And today on the Dr. Spell Prognosis, we're talking about the spell Destructive Wave. We're giving this spell a straight C. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just kind of blah, average. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I am on. All right. We're giving this a C. It is a fifth level spell. It requires one action. It is a range of self with a 30 foot radius, which is a very big radius. Well, it's each creature within 30 feet of you. So it is a 30 foot radius. Uh, it is only a verbal component and it is a evocation, but it is only usable by paladins, paladins and Tempest Domain clerics, which means that you're going to basically blow up because that's what the spell does. You strike the ground, creating a burst of divine energy that ripples out from you. Each creature within 30 feet must succeed on a con save. And a con save is not the best saving throw in the world. So again, you know, we, we've got... If you are a player and you want to effectively use your spells, you should be targeting things with intelligence saving throws, which is the absolute worst one in the game for an opponent, then charisma, then wisdom, then dexterity, then constitution, then strength. So con is the second to last worst one. That is, opponents are going to have a really good chance of making that saving throw. So you're going to target that or take 5d6 thunder damage as well as 5d6 radiant or necrotic damage, your choice, and then you knock them prone. If they succeed on the save, they take half damage and they're not knocked prone. So 5d6 and 5d6 is 10d6, which is 35 points of damage on average if they fail the save, and it is 17 points on average if they pass the save. So uh, I would say if you are being completely overwhelmed by vast numbers of radiant, vulnerable creatures, that's when you use this spell. That is the instance on when you use this spell. You're definitely not going to use it when you are near any of your party members because you're going to blast them. And it's usable by a paladin as a 5th level spell, which they don't get 5th level spells until like 17th level. So, because they're half casters. are Is it really that good to be doing that as a paladin at 17th level? Um, you know, when you're going to be getting multiple attacks with a weapon, you're going to be doing a bunch of damage. You could be doing a whole bunch of damage with uh, the weapon attack and your smite and all of that. So the paladin's better off just attacking with their weapon, I think, at that level. Not with the spell, unless it's absolute desperation mode and you have the absolute right circumstances. Same thing for the cleric. Now, the Tempest Domain cleric does have this thing Let's look at that. There is this thing called the Wrath of the Storm and Destructive Wrath. So uh, when you roll lightning or thunder damage, so it's 5d6 thunder, dam thunder damage, you can channel your divinity to deal maximum damage. So you could go with Destructive Wave as a Tempest Domain Cleric and go 30 points of damage, 30 points of thunder damage, and then... 17 average um, radiant damage, which will do 47 points of damage instead of 35 or 23. So you could do a little bit more, a little bit more, but again, you have to be cognizant of what's around you, what's going on. You don't want to harm your party members. Um, so there is a time and a place for this spell, but it is extremely circumstantial. All right, that's what I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.